Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo for um, the last part of September or from the time you view this video. So um, <clears throat> keep in mind it is general. I feel um, there is someone that you desire to have a commitment with. I feel that this is very likely someone from your past, this person for some of you um, could already be in another commitment. Um, I feel that you, um, I feel that like in the past, maybe you didn't know how you felt or that it was inconsistent, the emotions. Um, I feel like there's been like a turnaround here where you know that this is the person you want, that this is exactly what you need, that this person brings that balance into your life. But... <clears throat> It's almost like there's two sides of you. <laughs> You've got this darker side that kind of, it, uh, it holds, let's say, all of your fears. You've got this very optimistic side, and then you've got this very negative side, and that negative side um, tends to creep in um, and cast the shadow of doubt on that positivity and optimism and, and any kind of like drawback. So that's what I'm picking up. I feel like whatever broke you apart, it, it kind of follows you or haunts you or creeps up on you. For some of you, you might have some guilt or be carrying guilt um, for something that may have happened in the past and I feel that you may be wanting to get that off of your chest. I feel that you are trying to bring about some sort of reunion or um, to figure out a way perhaps to talk to this person. It's almost like getting your foot in the door, um, wanting to reach for this relationship, and maybe it's taking some time. Um, you want things to change, but there's either too many people on the scene, for example, if they were in another relationship, or or that this is your internal struggles. Um, and maybe um, there's a lot of conflict. Um, like I said, you've got that positive side um, where in moments your mind is made up that this is what you want and you're going after it. And then you've got that shadow side, the darker side where all your doubts and fears live and it's like it kind of, creeps in on this positivity and it's almost like it keeps you trapped or unmoving or stuck so I feel like you're trying to make this decision um, or trying to figure out how uh, to do this but I feel that there's some sort of lucky break here with the Great Fortune card that for you brings change or allows the change to happen. It's almost like it's a, a gift from the universe. You see... This is a, a little example of what's going on inside of you. You, um, let's say, 
in the past that person may have betrayed you, you're still thinking that this, you know, this might happen again if you were to approach them or uh, if you were to get into another commitment with them and you would fear this, some sort of backstabbing. And, you know, maybe even for some of you, maybe is this is the other person that might think this if they've been backstabbed by you or feel some, that they were betrayed by you somehow. But the thing is, at the root of this, we have Shemera. And it's saying that imagination is clouding your judgment here, most likely holding you back. So it's telling you to try to get grounded and use logic, reason, and common sense um, when making this decision here. Because if you continue to live in these fears, it's only going to keep you here in despair. And then maybe an opportunity will have passed you right by. Because you're going to be given that opportunity here. You see, the next card up was the lovers. This speaks to uh, depression, anxiety, worry about a commitment. And this card is saying that imagination is clouding your judgment. Don't let your fears get the better of you. The universe is trying to give you a gift. a lucky break, an opportunity. And this falls on you. So it's coming to you, this lucky break. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing. Many blessings.